how can I call myself Blueprint DIY and I'm walking around in a plain jacket? Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY and if you are at all interested in remaking your clothes to be just as unique as you, making them fit your size and your personality, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications because that's exactly what we do here every single week. So a year ago I won YouTube Next Up and that's basically a program where they fly you out to LA, you do YouTube boot camp, you have to apply and there's tons of people who apply and I actually won and during the boot camp they gave us these jackets and this jacket is very special to me but I've been walking around over a year with it plain how can I call myself blueprint DIY and I'm walking around in a plain jacket plain jacket plain jacket no no you guys know better than that no we cannot walk around okay I can but <laughs> not with one that said blueprint DIY on the back no so I was inspired actually by a couple of you guys sending me this idea as well as our subscriber uh, in our Facebook group Kaylee I featured her in our subscriber highlight where she did the grommets and the chains and some of you guys have been sending me that so I decided what if we do it to a jacket I think this is a very good candidate for it and we're gonna add a little bleach tie-dye in there too so I'm super excited for this let's get going all right so I have my jacket here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold it like this so that the sleeves come lower than the jacket and I'm gonna create my line I actually normally do this with it on because I like to know where it's going to hit on my body but I am actually just going to do it in between this pocket and this pocket. There's not a whole lot of room in between there and then there's a button there so I want to do it like right there. So it's not a whole lot of choices so didn't really need to try it on. So I am going to use my sliver of soap and i'm just going to mark on the edge first to make sure we're even under the arms all right so let's move the sleeves and then finish our line that's our line if you want to check just to make sure everything's even and it's not what happened all right now we should be even and we'll also check our sleeves all right now <laughs> it's time to cut um let me make sure i'm not cutting my name off on the back so it is time it's been a year it is time to do this ah! i'm actually going to correct this i actually my line is a little bit wonky there all right, so what I have left is a very cropped short sleeve <laughs> jacket, which may be a thing in and of itself. So now I have to take the bottom of the jacket and the two bottom sleeve parts, and I have a date with some bleach. I'm just going to kind of like lay it, scrunch it in there, and um, just pour the bleach. I have a mixture of about a half bleach and half water, so. <laughs> let's see how this goes i don't want to go overboard too quickly until i see how it's gonna change i'm gonna let it sit here for a little while and see how long it takes for it to change and i'll show you in a second so here it is i threw the sleeves on top and you can see it has varying shades of like this kind of yellowy color and brown and that's what I wanted. I wanted varying shades. I wanted it really splotchy, um, just kind of all over the place. So I am ready to throw this in the washer and dryer. And I'm going to throw the other piece, the top piece in the dryer as well, not in the washer, but in the dryer so that it can fray on the edges. And then I'll come back and we can add the um, eyelets. All right, so I have all of my pieces back. I definitely ended up putting this actually in the washing machine because I didn't feel like doing my friend myself. So washing machine and dryer always frays the edges really nicely um probably needs an iron i'll do that a little bit later but i am ready to mark where i want my eyelets to go so what i do typically to figure out how i want to mark them is i just grab some and i just lay them out and that'll help me decide how far i want them apart and i did put the link to this pack of um 
eyelets. It came with a hundred of these and the tools to install them. All right, so right now I'm thinking that seems like a good distance. So let's measure right at just shy of three and a half. So then I'm gonna use my piece of soap and I'm gonna take these away and I'm gonna give more accurate, I'm gonna mark it in a more accurate way so that we don't botch this whole thing. So now at this point, it's really important that I get everything lined up. Now I can do one side at a time just to make sure I can focus. I'm gonna use this to mark the first one, like how far above the fray I wanna be. And you don't wanna be right on the fray because then it's gonna go right through your jacket and you'll make a rip. This is dark blue, so I can't see it very well, but I'm gonna go back with the soap. All right, so that's the first one there. Then from there, I'll just measure three and a half down the line and hopefully, which is not a probable, it's just a hope, I'll come to some ending point that makes sense. If I'm going three and a half on each side. All right, well, these happen to be seven apart, almost. They're really almost seven apart, it's six and a half apart. So I'm going to split the difference and do three and a quarter. Wow, did I get really lucky. Okay. So then in order to match it, I'm just going to line up the seams and copy them. So all the marks are in and I will go ahead and show you how to install one. So each piece of this has a piece that has a higher rim and then a piece that has a more shallow rim. And basically what happens is you put it through the denim and then you put that piece on top and then use the tool inside here you use it with a mallet and it causes this piece to kind of flay open they're really good to use if you don't want to sew so 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 now is the time to test my white heat erasable marker so once you have your circles you want to go ahead and cut those out and what i do is just fold it in half get on the edge of the circle and cut it like that. And I'll do the same thing the opposite way. Now I can take the tips of my scissors and really get that circle how it's supposed to be. And then that way, once it's big enough, I can go ahead and push this through. Now I can put this piece on top. Then I'll take this and put it underneath. So I'll put this on the table, place this on top of it so that it's filled, you know, it's inside the hole. Now this is the best part because we get to use tools. I mean, not that sewing machines aren't tools, but we get to use a mallet. So then I'll take the mallet and tap it till it splays out. Okay, it's starting to go. And you just wanna keep doing it. If one, so like I'm angled this way and that side is that part that's actually done. So now I wanna kinda angle it this way. And there we go. Dunzo. All right, I'm gonna really quickly do this one so that we can put in some chain. There we go. My chain, I keep this from old purses, from sales that I might've caught, and I keep them in this container like this. It has rhinestones from old garments, chains from old purses and other garments, and I just keep them for whenever I'll need them. So this is definitely gonna come in handy. I have some chain like this. I'm hoping I have enough. So now I gotta decide how far apart I want this to sit. So I think that's good for me, which would be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven links. So on the seventh link, I'm just gonna open that up. And these are just pliers, needle nose pliers. You can get the ones specifically for jewelry or just use pliers that you have at your house. Oh, the only thing is, is now this chain is further from the edge. What will I do? Okay, so this was the issue. I didn't put my rings close enough to the edge so that the chain could get over the denim and the ring. So if that happens, you can either, and let's talk about this. I always recommend when you're doing fray to run a stitch along the edge or some fray check. I'll show you what that looks like. Run some fray check along the edge, like right inside where it's fraying so that it won't fray anymore. In order to make this work with this particular chain, because I don't have any bigger chain, I'm just making a very tiny snip right in the middle of where the ring is and then I'll open up the end of the ring and slide it right where that slit is 
camera. There it is. All right, then you can go ahead and close it up. And there you go. So now I have a whole lot of work to do to get the rest of these on and that includes the sleeves. So I will see you guys when I am done. All right, one last one and we are done uh, yes oh my gosh guys how good does this look with tie-dye over tie-dye like i am totally crazy but i am digging this and yes my sleeves are off of my shoulders you guys remember when i did this diy and yes it's you know you can't have too much layering you know in houston so i took my sleeves out and you guys know i love and good grief <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> I love anything hanging down. So yes, I. this is definitely Blueprint DIY. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, and yeah, it's definitely Houston or California or someplace where you don't never know whether it's going to be hot or cold. So yes, all fall long, I could wear it. Well, all winter long, I could wear this in Houston. But I am definitely digging this. But I'm definitely going to style it for you guys. For real, for real. So let me go and do that now. if you can't tell i love how this turned out it is even better than it was in my mind which is always a plus and i have absolutely no regrets cutting up my treasure jacket it's really special to me because if you guys didn't know i applied for next up three times and it just reminds me to never give up and so and even when you're afraid to do something like we always say be afraid and do it anyway so yeah i was really scared to go to apply the last time because i'd already been turned down twice and being turned down I mean you know we all have at least a little bit of ego but um, I came back and I am so proud and happy that I did and one year later I think when we went when I went to next up I was at 70,000 subscribers one year later we're double that more than double that so I'm so grateful thank you guys everybody who has been with me for the whole time and everybody who has come after that i'm sending you guys virtual hugs um and i appreciate you guys so much if you haven't seen i have a tutorial for that hoodie that i had on earlier it'll be right here as well as some other no so amazing no so projects for you right here so definitely go check those out if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe what are you waiting for definitely subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing because I post new videos every Thursday and every Saturday at 9 a.m. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!